going on everybody welcome back to jay's pokey stop and welcome back to the ripping room um if you guys didn't check my last uh video there we did the part one of this uh booster box battle um and now we're gonna dive into the second half so basically on the first half we took the left side of the evolving skies booster box and the left side of the fusion strike booster box and kind of divvied out the pools so i'm not going to go into the pools if you want to go uh see what we pulled there in the last video go check that out um and then we'll go ahead and double down here on the other side and see which one comes on top so go ahead and uh leave a comment down below which one you think is going to win and uh smash the like button to lock in your uh, answer there so um appreciate all the support here recently i think we're up to almost 80 subscribers here on the channel which is pretty wild um so thanks again for all that and uh Without further ado, let's go ahead and rip some packs and see what we can pull. Alright, so let's uh, start with Fusion Strike, kind of like what we did in the first video there. As you can see, we got an untouched side of the booster box here, 18 packs. We'll put that back there, and we'll go ahead and start busting these open. I just take this in real quick. Man, it's such an awesome side. I love, I love booster box openings. I love... Uh, how many packs you get and everything it's just a really good time so let's go ahead and dive into these start it off here with the mu artwork go from there let's see what we can pull kind of similar to what i did with the last video i'm going to kind of rush through these packs i will show the code cards for those of you who need those and uh we'll just rush right through them here we'll start with this shinx the mankey Helioptile Reverse, and a Verizon Non-Hollow. Alright, we got that Genesect artwork there. We did have a pretty crazy pull in our first uh, part of this video for Fusion Strike. If you didn't see that, definitely need to go check that out. Alright, starting with some Kanto vibes here with Caterpie. The Drillbur Shinx, Morpeko, I see something back there where we got Genesect V, first hit for Fusion Strike. Put her on the board there. Next pack, we got the Bolton artwork. And I am really hoping for that Gengar V Max alternate art. That card is just so, so different looking. I mean, it's just, it's awesome. And Gengar, you can't go wrong with him. He's definitely one of my favorites. All right. Next pack, we got Tynamo. Zorua, Bug Catcher Reverse, and Aladius Non Hollow. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how we're already up to 80 subs, almost 80 subs on this channel. I just started it here towards the beginning of the year and uh that's really awesome i can't thank you guys enough for that I, I love opening packs and i love sharing this experience with you guys so uh i'm happy that some there's actually some people out there that want to watch this kind of stuff so i know it's a pretty uh pretty polluted uh youtube uh topic out there right now there's a bunch of people wanting to open packs and whatnot but uh yeah hope to kind of bring some different kind of content your way i know this is pretty similar but um here in the future we'll try to get some new video ideas and and try to get you uh, some different kind of content so please subscribe if you're new and stay tuned so Fusion Strike, what do we got so far? We got the Genesect V. So we got one on the board here. And I think this is a pretty hard set to get pulls from just because how many cards are in this set. We got Snom Reverse and another Latius non hollow This is my first actual little Fusion Strike booster box. It's just pretty exciting, even though it's kind of old, old news now, but still fun nonetheless. Galarian Zigzag Zigzagoon. We got a Raquinid Reverse 
and a Evetel non hollow Gengar artwork. We got Volpix here with some Canto vibes again. Volpix reverse and a Chandelier V. Second hit. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I've been kind of pondering this in my head here recently about bringing back the Cosmos type uh, holographic cards and kind of just scrapping this whole V thing. I know it's pretty important for the the TCG and actually the game itself, but uh, I I really miss those just Cosmos hollows foil and and hunting for just the hollows. I mean, hollows now are basically meaningless to a collector. But just let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Alright, Panseer. Got mine, um, Sligu, Reverse, and a Grand Bull non hollow Two V cards so far. I ruined this code card. It's a white one. Which in this case, you don't want a white code card, I'm pretty sure. You want the black one. You got Onyx. It's a cool Onyx. Toxtricity Reverse and a Galarian Curse of Hollow. I love that Gengar artwork. As big of a or as much of a popular Pokemon that Mew is, I feel like this set really didn't take off as much as probably Pokemon was planning it would. I would love to pull one of those alternate art Mews. Or even, heck, even that Rainbow Mew VMAX looks really cool. Or just a Mew V full art. I feel like this set isn't getting getting enough love as it should. We got Mudkip, Totodile Reverse, and a Hunttail Non Hollow. We got Genesect. Starting this one with a Wooloo, Panpour, and a Steelix Hollow. Well, that's pretty cool. What do we got? We got four packs left from the second half of the box here. Let's see if we can pull something. Alright, got Meowth. See something here. We got Farewell Bell Reverse and a Tyranitar V. That's pretty cool. So three Vs. In the second half of the box, three packs remaining. White code card on this one. I messed up again. Fly through it. Elsa Sparkle Reverse and a Corviknight Non Hollow. There's a code card for that one. Two more packs. It's pretty crazy how cheap these boxes have become here in the last couple weeks. I think I picked this one up for $85, I want to say, which is a steal. Got more Peko. More Peko Reverse. And a Meloetta. Final pack. We got the Genesect artwork. Let's see if it could save us here. We got three hits. The second half of the box. I will go ahead and say we had four hits in the other half of the box. So this, not counting the hollows, but. All right, Carvana. We got something here. It looks like maybe a rainbow ray or something. We got Grim Snarl Reverse. And, ooh, Elsa Sparkle Rainbow Rare. Last pack magic, am I right? 
definitely get that in the sleeve. That wasn't a bad box at all then. Elsa's Sparkle Rainbow Rare. That texture in the back looks really cool. It's almost like fireworks shooting off. Let's go ahead and recap this side of the box. We got Tyranitar V, Chandelier V, Genesec V, and then we got the Rainbow Rare Elsa Sparkle. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and dive into Evolving Skies here and see if we can pull something better. All right, so let's, uh, you see we, what we did in Fusion Strike there? Let's go ahead and dive into the other half of Evolving Skies. So the, I'll tell you right now, the first half of this box was not that great. So hopefully these packs right here have something, so a hidden gem in, inside. Man, that looks awesome. All right, we'll start with the Sylveon artwork and work our way through them. Starting Evolving Skies off with a Molga. We've got a Shopping Center Reverse and an Amphros Non Hollow. Rayquaza artwork. I said this in my part one of this, but uh, I did end up pulling the uh, Rayquaza alternate art, VMAX, Rayquaza VMAX alternate art out of. Uh, of a blister pack I actually bought at Walmart so definitely go check that video out it's on my channel It'll be a few uh, days old here but we got Lotad, Pinsir, Reverse and Altaria, a little Pinsir, Pinsir, little Canto vibes Reverse there Duraludon artwork let's go shout out to Pokediz, Duraludon or Bust if you're watching this, we got Eevee started off with that Ray Rayquaza VMAX there in the sky. A little Pikachu, Reap Reverse, and a Shiftry non hollow. Starting this one off with a Pikachu. Let's go. C dot. Reverse Avalog and a Stoutland non hollow. Man, these non hollows. They are ruthless in this set or in this box for Revolving Skies. We got a Scraggy. <clears throat> Bagon. Litleo Reverse and a Trevenant B. Man. I'll tell you, it's a hit, but it's not a very good one. Out of all the V cards you can get in this set, Trevenant is not the one you want. I'll tell you that. Unless you're a Trevenant collector. And by all means. Alright, we got Hop Hip, Fletchling, Crystal Cave, and a Lily Gant non hollow. This one off with a Zorua, we got a Cryogonal, Bergamite, Digging Gloves, and a Dialga Hollow. Fine, at least it's a Hollow. <laughs> I'll take anything at this point. I'm really hoping there's a good hit here at the end of this. Uh, at the end of this box, we got a Chinchow, Dino, Teddy Ursa, Rufflet Reverse, and a Milotic Non Hollow. We got plenty of packs to catch up here, but we got Dwebble, Swablu, Kiram Reverse, and a Gorgeist non hollow. I mean, we have three hits in the Fusion Strike. Starting this one off with a Molga, Slack Off, Gossifleur. Got a Petalil, 
and a Rayquaza V alternate art. Let's go. Oh my God. Woo. I will definitely take that. Let's leave that up immediately. That made this box completely worth it. Let's get that into a hard, uh, semi-rigid here too. Let's go. Now I got both. I just pulled the VMAX alternate art. And now I got the V alternate art as well. Sorry, my dog's playing around here. Look at that. Let's go. That takes the cake already against Fusion Strike. I'm sorry, but... Rayquaza V alternate art. Man, that takes the cake. But uh, let's go ahead and see what else we got. We still have several packs here to open. Starting this one off with Lotad, Teddy Ursa, Wishy Washy Reverse, and a Drampa non hollow. That definitely makes up for all those non hollows we were just getting. That is awesome. Say, so yeah, I spent 109 on the box. Let me know if you think that's. Worth $109 right there. Applin. Seismitoad Reverse and a Gigalith Non-Hollow. Centering on it looks a little off left or right. I'll sh show it a little bit closer here in a second. But Oh, peek in there. I think we see something else in this one. We got Pikachu. Lillipup. C dot, Bagon, Litleo, Stormy, and a Trevenant V Max. Not the greatest V Max, but we'll take it. Next pack here. We got a C dot, Woobat, Eevee, Single Strike, Scroll the Fang Dragon, and a Jump Puffed Hollow. We got four packs left here. Litleo, Hopip, Hitmonchan. We got a Reverse Thievil and a Sharpedo non hollow. Man, that makes me want to buy another box already. I love seeing cards like that in there. Code card, Drowsy, Rock and Roll Up, Lebebe, Raichu Reverse, and oh, let's go, Umbreon Rainbow Rare, Umbreon VMAX. That's probably the best Rainbow Rare other than Rayquaza to pull. Let's go. Woo, man, what a box. What a box, and the texture on this card is insane. Centering not that great, kind of like that Rayquaza left to right. Top to bottom's pretty good, but wow. Nonetheless, look at the texture on that thing. Awesome. Let's get that in a semi rigid too, real quick. Oh, yeah. Baldwin Sky is definitely taking the cake here on this second half. I hate to say it. What do we get? Three hits out of uh, Fusion Strike. Sorry about that. My dog hit the camera. We get three uh, hits out of Fusion Strike. Wow. That is awesome. Got Gossifleur, Fletchling, Copycat Reverse, and Umbreon V. I'll take it. Got everything all mixed up here now. Last pack. Rayquaza V or Rayquaza V Max. Rayquaza artwork. Let's see if we what we can pull here. Last code card for you. Starting with a Dwebble, Hippopotas, Zorua, 
Psyduck, Rufflet, Apple in Reverse, and Appleton Non Hollow. So let's go ahead and do a quick recap. Everything from this box or from this side. So we got the Umbreon V, which is awesome. Trevenant V V Max and the Trevenant V. So we got double trees in this box, which is not that great, but these two pulls I think make it worth it. We got the Umbreon VMAX Rainbow Rare. Look at that. And then finally the Rayquaza V Alternate Art. I'm not sure what trainer that is, but that's a jump pluff, I believe, there at the bottom. Look at that art. Wow. And then for Fusion Strike, we got Genesect V, Chandelure V, Tyranitar V, and we did get the Elsa Sparkle Rainbow Rare, which is a pretty cool hit. Uh, so let me know down in the comments below which set you think won in this uh, second part. And don't, don't forget to go check out the first part too and let me know on that one as well. Um, that pretty much covers it, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully we can do this again. I kind of want to do it again with definitely Evolving Skies, and maybe we can get a Vivid Voltage uh, booster box or something and, and do Evolving versus uh, Vivid Voltage. And then, uh, and definitely here in the near future, we got Brilliant Stars releasing, so uh, I have a couple boxes already on pre-order, so I'm pretty excited about that. Maybe we can take one of those and verse that with Evolving Skies. I think those two sets are, are top tier, so I think that would be a pretty good battle. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the next video guys. Thanks for tuning in.